everyone. I am up here at the blue chip mine today. Came up for the weekend to do some work up here. Just investigating a new spot and checking things out. It's been a couple months since I've been up here. On my drive in, I found something very interesting on the road. Someone had put up a gate on the road. But it didn't look like an official gate. It didn't look like forestry or mines or... It didn't look all that official. Luckily it was unlocked. So I came in anyways. And I found something disturbing when I got here. I found a junk pile. Someone has squatted down here. I'm not sure if you'd call it squatting, but has left garbage all over. There's a trailer. They've built a little lean-to. There's a, a fire going in the trailer right now. I've hollered around and no one seems to be here. It's like maybe they left this morning. There's two trailers, there's barrels, there's tarps everywhere, there's garbage everywhere. I'm afraid to see what I find in my mine. See if someone's been working there or do, making a mess of it or something. But this, oh, this is awful. Awful, I tell you. Oh, those look like rocks from my mine. There's smoke coming out of the stack right now. That looks like whoever may have been here this morning is gone for the day. I'm even hesitant just to sort of pack my stuff and go in because someone might come back. Oh. Not what I wanted to find today. I had things to do. What a mess. Hmm. What a mess. Off the woodcut. Big old trailer here. Doesn't seem to be anyone around. Unload, go into the mine. Oh, maybe I'll just go for a wander over to the mine and see what I see. Go in here. Well, the mine looks okay. I don't see anything pro any problems there. It doesn't look like anyone's been working it or doing any damage there. Just that disaster. And I do hate the fact that someone might come back while I'm in at the mine working. Lock the gate on me. Do something to my truck. I don't know what these people, who these people are, what they're like, anything. It's a little scary. Well, I'm gonna unload. I'm gonna go in and do what I wanted to do today. See what happens. It's all part of the adventure, right? Can you believe this is December 1st in Canada? Woohoo! Look at that weather out there. It is gorgeous. 
bit of snow on the on the mountains, but oh, it's beautiful out here. A bit of snow up there on the mountain. December first. I just met the squatters that uh, were living there. I walked over to the mine to talk on the camera. They seem like okay people. They've obviously hit hard times, lost their house, and they're not, they're planning to stay there for a few months. They promised to clean up, and when they leave to take all their stuff with them. So I think we're okay. I think it's gonna be okay. I think I'll leave it at that and see what it looks like in the spring when I come back. They seem okay. A quick follow-up after I shot this video. Uh, on the way down the hill I decided that I did not want to be held responsible for that mess left up in my mine site. So I stopped by the police and just let them know that that mess was there and those people were there and they said they would look into it, stop by, and make sure nothing too illegal was happening up there. And uh, now that there is a record of the happenings up there, no one can come back to me in the future and say that if that mess was left behind, it was my fault up at my mine site. So just covering my butt a little bit. I've got two more videos coming out on the blue chip mine really soon here. One where I blast open a new seam and see what's inside. And the other, I give you a tour of the whole mine site. If you want to see more about the blue chip mine, there's a link just off to the left of my image here. Click on that link and it'll take you to a whole series on the blue chip mine. One last quick little thanks to all my patrons out there for supporting me in my YouTube endeavors. Until the next video, everyone. Bye!